Hi, my name is Rich Abel, and I'm the medical lead for our movement disorders program here at Praxis. I'd like to take the time to thank the IETF for this opportunity today, and also during other times throughout the year for us to share a bit about Praxis, but more importantly, for being a partner with us in this journey to discover a potential treatment for essential tremor. This presentation may contain forward-looking statements, and I would like to let you know that I will be discussing investigational product today. During our discussion, we'd like to tell you more about Praxis and our commitment to innovation and movement disorders, highlight why we think innovation is critical for people with essential tremor. We'll also share information about our investigational medication, Prax944, for essential tremor and talk a bit about our clinical development plans. Lastly, we'll discuss ways that we can keep in contact. First, let me tell you a little bit about Praxis for some of you who may not be aware of who we are. At Praxis, we see a real need to advance scientific understanding and to develop therapies with the needs and experiences of people with essential tremor at the forefront. We are a biopharmaceutical company that focuses on developing potential treatments for people with central nervous system disorders. A lot goes into developing these therapies. It takes passion, focus, and trust between the scientists and physicians that we're working with, but it asks the most of you, the people who are living with essential tremor who are seeking better options. It takes your commitment and trust, and we never take that for granted. We understand that CNS conditions like ET have deep and far reaching impact on everyday lives and well being of individuals, as well as their families and the communities that they're a part of. That's why we're focused on bringing a new understanding to these long neglected disorders and a fresh hope and excitement for people to live fully and on their own terms. You can see here our mission statement on the slide. And instead of reading it to you, I just wanted to point out some key words that explain a little bit more about what our aim is. And that is to develop therapies faster and more effectively than has ever done before. That was, this is what drives us every single day. Now to why innovation and why we think it's important for people with essential tremor. Our guiding principle at Praxis is to dare for more. And through our science, we aim to be fiercely committed to providing people living with essential tremor a world without limitations, free to move when, where, and how they want. As many of you well know, ET is the most common dis movement disorder, impacting an estimated 7 million people just in the US alone. I mention this 7 million number because it shows that you are not alone, that there is a community. There are many people who are just like you. Through listening to individuals and families living with essential tremor, we've heard that ET can impact people in many different ways and that the condition goes far beyond the tremor. The symptoms disrupt a person's everyday life and are often associated with embarrassment, anxiety, depression, and sometimes isolation. ET is a serious condition and we are serious about finding a way to better help individuals who live with this condition each day. You may have had experience with medications for essential tremor and hopefully it has been um, well to you and provided you with some relief. Unfortunately, we understand that current therapies often fail to meet the needs of people living with essential tremor. This isn't surprising, especially since none of the existing therapies were developed with this disorder in mind. Current therapies may only partially reduce control of symptoms for some people, while others may struggle with side effects or must navigate the medication journey dealing with interactions that make it difficult to start or even stay on the therapy that they're on. For some, we've heard that the side effects of treatment can be worse than the tremor itself. We're seeing many people left coping with the symptoms without appropriate treatment or facing basic procedures that carry risk and 
may not work. We appreciate that none of the therapies used today to help people with the central tremor were developed with ET in mind. Our goal is to develop a precision medicine expressly developed with you in mind. With that, I'd love to tell you more about the work that we are doing in developing our investigational medication, Prax944. Prax944 is currently being studied in Essential One, which is a phase two clinical trial to evaluate the efficacy, tolerability, and safety of treatment in patients with uh, moderate to severe essential tremor. Let's talk a little bit more about 944. So in essential tremor, we know that the neurons that deliver messages to parts of the body are overreactive and they tend to do so in the rhythmic, oscillatory, active and active way. With this, you can imagine the brain is driving tremors in the hand and other parts of the body in the same on-off way. We believe that the tremor results in an imbalance in calcium channels in the brain. And our target, that is the molecule that Prax944 blocks, is present in the circuits involved in this rhythmic oscillatory signaling pathway. This target is a T-type calcium channel. We know that this rhythmic activity in the brain is abnormal. And if we can block this activity using Prax944, then we can reduce the activity and potentially reduce tremors. This is the scientific rationale behind our investigational medication Prax944. For clarity, we at Praxis are developing a special type of calcium channel blocker, different from available calcium channel blockers used to manage, for example, blood pressure or cardiovascular disorders. Prax944, again, is a T-type calcium channel blocker with high specificity. This is very different from anything else on the market, and it gives us potential to reduce tremors, make day-to-day -day living less difficult, and hopefully minimize side effects seen with other therapies. Again, Prax944 is being developed with the central tremor population in mind. It is designed to block the T-type calcium channels in certain parts of the brain to help stop tremors, help participants in our studies, and eventually, hopefully, help the larger community regain control of their lives. We have formulated Prax944 as a once daily oral pill, as some medications are multiple dose a day and burdensome. Prax944 has been well tolerated in clinical studies to date in both healthy volunteers and essential tremor patients in our earlier studies. Currently, we're in what is called, again, the phase two of the FDA clinical development. This means that when we are active. This means that we're actively studying the use of Prax944 in approximately 100 participants with the central tremor. Clinical development plans for a central tremor. So we're currently urgently advancing Prax944 in a central tremor. Here's a look at where we are uh, in the clinical development program, again at the phase two. We recently completed our phase 2A study, and we now have the 2B study, which is the essential one study that's ongoing. Early this year, we reported top line results from our phase 2A part B trial. Uh, the part B of the phase 2A study included both open label and a randomized withdrawal period. In this study, Prax944 showed uh, clinically meaningful uh, functional improvement. Uh, Prax944 was, was also generally well tolerated with no new safety findings. Now, specifically, this means that um, this, for the safety profile itself, uh, it was consistent with what we've seen previously um, with Prax944 in earlier studies. Eight of the 11 participants completed the open label period at the highest dose, so that's 120 milligrams. Three of the 14 evaluable participants discontinued, so with one discontinuation unrelated to the study drug. All treatment emergent adverse events leading to either down titration or discontinuation were mild to moderate. 
We need to continue to study this medication in more people with essential tremor to further assess its safety and how well it works at controlling essential tremor symptoms. And we'll, we'll see this in, in the phase two study, which is going on or ongoing. One more time. So essential one, um, the phase two study um, is evaluating efficacy, safety, and tolerability of Prax944 uh, in adults with moderate to severe essential tremor. And the goal is to see if Prax944 compared to placebo can reduce symptoms and burden of essential tremor. We also want to see how and if these responses differ depending on the dose taken for both safety and efficacy outcomes that we're studying in this, uh, in this uh, phase two study. A little bit more about essential one. So it is ongoing. However, we have completed our open screening period. Uh, the study lasts up to four, can last up to 14 weeks, including eight visits at the clinic and four telephone check-in visits. The screening process determines if uh, a patient is eligible or individual is eligible to participate in the study. This can take up to four weeks to complete and will involve one or two office visits. The treatment period will assess Prax944 over an eight-week period. This will involve five office visits, four telephone check-ins, the participants will need to complete assessments either at home or in the clinic, as mentioned. Uh, and then there's a follow-up period that's two weeks, and this includes one office visit. During this time, your healthcare provider will evaluate your essential tremor symptoms and overall health. There's also open label extension, uh, which is optional, uh, where individuals will be provided Prax944 um, throughout. So what's next? Uh, as we mentioned, Essential One is currently ongoing. And once we complete, uh, this, the study will report top line results. The data we receive from the Essential One will inform us on our approach uh, for potential future phase three study. And if necessary, um, the phase three will be next in our development process, which is the natural course. So we would love for you uh, to keep in touch. There's a lot that is happening here at Praxis and with uh, Prax944. In the meantime, um, we will keep our lines of communication open with the community. Um, if you would like, you can sign up here for our email communications by going to the link and completing a two minute sign up form. And you can also reach out directly to our patient advocacy partners at patientadvocacy at praxismedicines.com. Thank you very much for your time today. And we look forward to continuing to be partners. Thank you.